गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अवर इंग्लिश क्लास ओके इन इंग्लिश वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस एंड दिस ओके वॉट टॉपिक वी आर डूइंग वी आर डूइंग दिस एंड दिस वॉट दिस and these what i have explained you one thing near to you and you are pointing that thing that time you will use this but more than one thing is near to you then for pointing them you will use these what is the spelling of this T H I S this, and what is the spelling of these? T H E S E these. Okay, again see here. Suppose dash is a tree. Okay, one tree is there. and i have draw it near this so what you will write you will write this t h i s okay and if dash r trees if i draw okay then more than one trees are there so what you will write these t h e s e these now one more thing you ha you have to understand if there is t h i s this then beside this is always i s is okay you speak from your mouth this is a ball this is a pen this is a eraser this is a duster but if more than that these but beside these we never use is we say a r e r okay what we say these are pens okay then we can say these are pencils if many cu cups are there we can say these are cups but beside these we never say is what we say these are this is and these are okay this topic you have already done before this diwali vacation you have understand we have also done it now today a new topic okay same thing you know one thing far from you then what you can say you will use that okay same thing i'm showing you okay dash is a tree if i write here and here is the tree okay it is far from this place that means it is far okay we are far and you are pointing like this that is a tree what you will say you will use that you know very well this and that if one thing is near to you you use this but one thing far from you what you will use that okay what you will use that same way dash r trees okay see they, these are more than one trees and they are far from here okay 
then what you will write? If it is near, then you can write these. But if the things are far from you, more than one thing, far from you, what you will use? You will use those. What you will use? Those. T-H-O-S-E. What you will use? T-H-O-S-E. Those. T-H-O-S-E. Those. Understand? Those. T-H-O-S-E. Those. Okay? One thing far from you, you will use that. More than one thing far from you, you will use those. What is the spelling of those? T-H-O-S-E. What is the spelling of those? T-H-O-S-E. Understand? So, we are going to little bit more explanation. I am going to explain you. Seer, dash is a star. If I should say a star, star far away. So, this is far. What you will write? T-H-A-T, that. T-H-A-T, that. That is a star. Okay, now see here, dash R stars. S T A R S stars. Okay, so more than one star, more than one star, you will write stars. So, here you, what you will write is far from you. T-H-O-S-E. Those. What is the spelling? T-H-O-S-E. Those. One thing near to you, you will say this. One thing far from you, you will say that. Okay. More than one thing near to you, you will say these. And more than one thing far from you, you will say those. Okay. This is the concept. Understand? Understand? So, we will practice in our class. This one we will practice. Okay? So, this is the concept of this, that and these, those. Here also same thing. If that is written, always beside that there will be is. Okay? And beside those, always A-R-E, are. You could not say those is. No, those are. And that is you already know. Okay, so this is the concept of that and those. So all total what you have understand? This, that, these, those. Okay, so this is the uh, concept of this. Okay, now next thing what you are, we are going to do, we are going to do next is our phonic book. In phonic book, what thing we are going to read? We are going to read page number 62. Page number 62. What it is written? Words that end in G. What is the pronunciation of G? G. Okay. And what you have to identify the words which end in G. So you have to learn also. What it is written? First one is, see the picture. G, U and gun. No, it doesn't end in G. Next, B-A-G bag. Yes, B-A-G bag ends in G. Next, T-A-P tap. No, it doesn't end in G. Then, L-A-G leg. Yes, it ends in G. Next, P-E-G peg. Yes, it also ends in G. Then, D-O-G dog. It also ends in G. So, you have to learn what word? The word that ends in G. Okay. Again I am saying words that end in G. So first one B A G bag. Next L E G leg. 
okay then p e g pig then d e o g dog okay bag leg pig dog then you can say l o g log l o g log then you can say j u g jug j u g jug this is our words that end in g so go through it and learn it okay go through it and learn it next is our what next is we are going to learn cursive okay in cursive which letter capital letter r how you will write this r in cursive see here from here you bring the line down then curve it then raise it then make a p and from here like this it become a cursive letter r see again this is our cursive letter r cursive capital letter r so you have to practice again see from here bring it down then take it up and make a first p then from here like this it become a capital letter r in cursive it become a capital letter r again see this is your r this is your r first you make a p and from here you make the line like this it become capital letter r okay so you have to do in your cursive book practice this now today's teaching over students go through it and learn it okay thank you